Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and about a week ago I covered the Ultimate Game Dev Asset Software Bundle. This is the first Unreal Engine bundle, I think, on Humble, uh, and it's a great collection of assets if you're an Unreal Engine developer. Now, I had a lot of requests to actually go into a bit more depth with these assets, so that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to go hands-on with about a uh, little bit over a half a dozen of them, uh, and we're going to give you an idea if these are a good pickup for you. Now, one thing I want to point out is this pack right here, uh, this asset is actually a collection of a number of different assets put together together into a major scene. So this covers, uh, for example, the village here, the dungeon, uh, the town over here, and various other pieces. So I'm going to show you all of those as a single asset. Another neat thing that came up in the comments is the developer behind this, Sidearm Studios, uh, these guys right here, uh, were in the YouTube comments for this video and said that they are working on getting redemption keys for the Unreal Engine Asset Store. So I can't promise it because it doesn't exist yet, uh, but in the future you should be able to redeem these assets on the Unreal Engine Store which is a very cool development. So let's start things off with the stylized mega pack. And again, this is a number of packs together. It is using world partitions, and this is Unreal Engine 5.1. I'm demoing, by the way. So you can see here, it's got the castle, the dungeon, the graveyard, the forest, uh, the medieval dock, village, and underwater ruins packs all in one place. Now, the cool thing about all these packs, we're going to start things off in the graveyard. You'll notice there are actually blueprint uh, ready to go objects of everything. So if you want to create and instantiate things, super simple to go ahead and use these things. So everything is quite nice, easy to work with. And you're going to find that the demo scenes that they set up for these assets are um, very impressive, I got to say. So let's fly through, take a look at this one. So this is uh, the graveyard portion of the assets. So you see here, everything you need to create uh, what you see here. Uh, definitely nice looking stuff. It's got like a stylized semi low polygon move. Uh, but as you can see, you're going to be able to create an entire world out of these packs since there are so many different assets here. So let's go uh, down this forest and see what we transition into. All right. So here we go into um, forest, I think. So here we get some of the forest pack stuff. And again, all of these things all have uh, blueprints that you can go ahead and create using them. Uh, let's go down this path, find out what else we find here. So I think we're coming upon the town or the village. So you got assets for creating a village environment like so. Oop, something just choked. All right, I think my shaders are streaming in. All right, so there we see the village environment. Now let's go take a look up. Oh, going back towards the graveyard. So let's cross the water over here. Uh, we got some docks going on here as well. Um, and let's head across the sea. Again, we got another village environment going on. Uh, there is a castle here somewhere. There is an underground environment here somewhere. There is a dungeon here somewhere as well. Uh, not sure I'm going to find them all in this demo, but you do get an idea of exactly what kind of assets you're getting. So this is the Mega Pack bundle. Uh, this includes a number of them all kind of pushed together uh, into a single bundle. It's the only one that kind of has that duplicate aspect going on. So I think we just found the castle. So let's go on over here. So here is the castle environment. So as you can see, you have a ton of modular assets to get ready and going with. Here's an indoor or this. Is this dungeon? Or is this just the interior of the castle? I'm not sure here. Let's just go down and see what happens. All right, we don't have anything down here. No, nothing really special going on. Now, one thing you're going to notice with this particular asset um, is it's choking out a bit at times. Uh, it's actually using world partition, but for this demo, I just loaded all of the, the portions of the partition into it. Uh, so that's why it is chugging at times. So there's also an underwater area somewhere and a dungeon area as well. But you get an idea of the... Uh, the art style of this particular pack, um, it, it's very consistent. It, it covers a number of different biomes and regions for you. Uh, we come over to this area. We have some funky red tree. I'm going to conclude with the funky red tree, and then we will move on to the next asset pack. So here we have uh, kind of a, a livable tree area, like so. So very fantastical. Uh, you're also seeing Unreal Engine 5.1's dynamic shader loading, which is so long overdue, and I'm very happy that that exists now. Oh, there you go. Uh, so you've got a uh, ton of different assets all together in this mega pack. Everything you need to create villages, towns, uh, forests, uh, dungeons, uh, crypts, and so on. So very, if you're creating a fantasy style game, this mega pack definitely has you covered. 
All right, so next up, we have the Horror Cafe. Again, they put these beautiful demonstration environments together to showcase all of the assets. I think I actually showed you this one uh, in the original video for it, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. But as you see, everything you need to create uh, this environment, this one is a bit more of a realistic art style, still a little stylized, kind of bordering on like a high-definition version of, say, um, uh, Bioshock sort of art style. Uh, again, very impressive to look at. All of these things, by the way, you can open them up. So this is the crying scene. Um, go here into maps, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at the um, assets overview. So everything here is modular in nature. So these are all the pieces that go together to create the scene. So a number of arches, a number of tables, potted plants, so on, a fountain. Again, a bunch of pieces go together. A bunch of uh, shrubs and trees and other miscellaneous F things. Uh, and yeah, that is the uh, Horror Cafe pack. Again, pretty straightforward, that one. Next up, we have the Arabian Palace. Uh, as you can see, again, another environment. Very well and beautifully shown off. Uh, very small uh, demo environment in this particular case, but... Uh, a number of things that you would use to create uh, kind of an Arabian Nights type theme. Uh, we've got some uh, hookah. We've got uh, some uh, couches to sit on, uh, blinds, arches. Uh, we've got, again, floors and rugs to work with. And once again, let's go take a look at the overview map here. So go here. Let's go check out the assets in this pack. And here they are. So this one is a smaller pack. Um, I don't know where the rest of the assets are, so we should have all of the... Oh, they're over here. All right, so they just spread this one out. So we got uh, some shrubs and ferns we can use. Again, uh, everything is set up as blueprints, so you can bring this guy in uh, and control over the individual elements of it. Uh, it's got all the lighting and such pre-configured. We got some carpets going on over here. And then we got some uh, miscellaneous uh, accoutrements, I guess we will call it. Uh, so that is the Arabian Palace pack. Next, we have the restaurant and diner environment, which looks like your typical 50s diner with a small twist. So we have our uh, 1886 tomato ketchup. Uh, we've got salt and pepper shakers. We've got uh, banquette seats to sit in. Do we have any gum under the table? No, that's an oversight in my opinion. Uh, now, the interesting thing here is, though, we've also got a splash of sci-fi in here so that your menu is uh, a hologram. And then if we head on over here, you have a robotic arm that is serving the coffee. <laughs> so a uh, bit of uh, 50s uh, retro, a bit of Fallout futurism, uh, definitely an Art Deco styling to it. Uh, we've got kind of a, I don't know what you'd call this, almost like a cantina going on over here with the bar environment. And once again, entirely modular. So let's go check out the overview. Everything is blueprint driven. All of the assets of this pack in one place are here. So again, all the various different things to go on your wall. Uh, we got some neon signs, a number of uh, dinery foods. Oops, went under the world. Uh, so we got some pizza going on there, some pie. Uh, we got some uh, machines that you use. We got some uh, various different bits and bobs. A couple of vending machines for the 50s Art Deco style again. And then the overarching uh, bar and setup there. Again, everything is modular, can be used mix and match style. Next up, we have the Ancient Ruins, which is a set of ruins that are, um, well, ancient. So uh, here you can see some of them in effect. Again, incredibly modular in nature. All of the stuff that you see here goes together to create these ruins. And again, let's go check out the overview map on this guy. And you're getting an idea of the kind of things that you're getting. So you're getting a lot of older stones, some uh, some grass and uh, such ferns and such to put around, moss-covered rocks, and then a bunch of uh, modular kind of Lego bricks you can put together to create, uh, well, basically what we just saw in action, a pretty straightforward pack, probably the simplest of the packs in this collection. Next, we're taking a trip to the Wild Wild West uh, with a bit of a twist, and this one may look familiar to you because it was actually part of the uh, Game from scratch, Unreal Engine Marketplace collaboration, uh, where the community picked a number of different assets. This was one such environment. Uh, everything you need to create a typical Wild West environment is available here. So you've got trading house, you've got a saloon over here, you've got a church up here, a water catch over here, uh, lots of nice assets here. And then also we have some uh, animated sky ships. And these are actually uh, fully animated, so the, the props work, uh, steam juts out of the steam engines and so on. 
Uh, so very much a pretty looking asset. So I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't animate unless played, but this actually animates as well. Uh, so that is a Wild Wild West pack. Um, and if you're kind of mixing, again, a little bit of steampunk into here, but you can obviously ignore the steampunk aspects. If you just need a hotel, uh, you have a hotel. If you just need a gambling hall, you have a gambling hall. And if for some reason you need a steam-powered skyship, you have that as well. So once again, let's take a look at the overview. Uh, so here is the showcase level for these assets. Um, and here we go. All right, so see everything you see here. Let's get rid of the preview screen. Uh, works together, so you've got... Uh, all the stilts that these things are built on, various different uh, uh, decorations, I guess we'll go ahead and call this poor fellow. Uh, we've got, again, a bunch of scaffolding for the things to build on. We've got some bridges to hook things together uh, and a bunch of buildings to work with. So uh, another nice modular pack if you are going for that Wild West look. Next, and my brain really wants to call this the Cathedral of the Deep, thanks to Dark Souls, but this is the Cathedral of the Dead. It is a uh, dark and dank, scary uh, church environment with this very uh, benign-looking deity. Uh, nothing nothing but happiness and joy coming off of this guy right here. And this uh, stack of bones just kind of really puts the fun in uh, Sunday worship. So we've got uh, a church environment here. Um, again... Let's go take a look at the overview assets on this one. Uh, maps, showcase, uh, all the pieces that go together, obviously, to create this setting. Everything is blueprint driven, so it, again, is literally drag and drop into your game. Here we have the happy fellow over there. Uh, but yeah, another environment, very modular in nature, if you need to create a church-like environment for your game. Next, we have one showing for a very happy future. This is the Vault Space Horror Environment. Looks like a very chipper place to visit with its uh, totally not at all bloodstained uh, thing of thinginess. Not sure exactly what this thing does to you, but judging by what I see here, the present, it's, it's not fun. It probably is not a fun thing to do. Uh, this is a space station environment. Um, again, modular in nature. This one's probably going to be a little harder to mesh with the other things. And as you can see here, we got another uh, totally innocent and happy looking uh, scene going on here with our, uh, our totally not a bloodstained smashed heads against the wall glass chip thing going on. So let's go check a look at the asset overview of this one. Again, this is probably going to be the one that's going to be hardest to mix and match into everything else because it's so sci-fi and it's not really that large on the whole. Uh, so if you're going to try and mix it in with an existing uh, asset, nothing else really in this bundle goes along with it per se. Uh, but again, still high quality work. Next, we have what is probably my favorite looking asset. Maybe it's just because I have a thing for evil alien elephants, but this is the ancient temple asset. Uh, again, it's kind of Cthulhu meets elephant man. It's, it's an interesting combination. I don't think those are meant to be tusks. I think they're most to be Cthulian temp, like, uh, tentacles coming out, like what you can see here with suckers. But it does, to me, look like a giant, mean elephant god. And frankly, I absolutely love it. So everything you need to see, to need to see, need to see, see to need. Uh, everything you see here uh, that you need to create an underground temple type environment uh, is in this pack. And again, let's go check out the overview while I can still speak. And again... Pretty straightforward. We have a giant tentacled elephant head. Uh, we have a number of different rock patterns and tiles and such that you can use. Again, all modular, all uh, blueprint driven, so very easy and simple to work with. There's also a handful of Niagara-based effects in this particular pack. I'm just going to show you one of them in action, but you get an idea of the quality and the stuff you're looking at. So this is for spell effects. So we got a variety of arcane-based spells, holy-based spell effects, uh, poison, and blah, probably my favorite, to be honest. Uh, Shadow, not really sure about that one. Uh, Void, uh, we've got fire spells over there. Okay, so uh, we got uh, ice, and we've got lightning, and we've got nature-based particle effects. So there's a handful of uh, Niagara-based effects to check out as well. This is one such pack, so you get an idea of what the quality of these assets are. 
So ladies and gentlemen, that is the Unreal Engine Ultimate Game Dev Assets Bundle. Again, we saw about 90% of it. A little couple things I didn't cover. I didn't cover the two stylized map packs. We've also got a couple more VFX things here, like explosions and magical projectiles. Uh, and for some strange reason, there's a couple of icon packs that were thrown in here as well that I didn't cover. But otherwise, we saw the vast majority of the assets here. Uh, again, a lot of them are incorporated into this single open world demo. Uh, it's just basically a demonstration map showing you five or six of these other things together. Uh, so this is technically one less asset in this bundle, uh, but still a hell of a value in my humble opinion. Also, again, the creator did say they are working with the Unreal Marketplace to give everyone product keys. I'm not going to promise you are going to get product keys, but that's what he has said, and that makes Makes the bundle even better. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, that is the Ultimate Game Dev Assets Bundle. If you use my link, you can direct a portion of your purchase to help support Game From Scratch, and I'd really appreciate if you do. Uh, hopefully you found this hands-on useful for helping decide what you think of these packs or just to look at some uh, nice quality graphics. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.